Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, we are talking about two of Jamaica's most dangerous rogue cops. Now, there are many more out there people, but today we are featured two. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Shout out to Jamaica Loop for this article. Now, people, as we said, we are talking about two of Jamaica's most dangerous rogue cops. Now, these cops are the facilitators and enablers of crime and violence in a Jamaica. I will not say three card man, the Minister of National Security and Police Commissioner Anthony Anderson doing nothing about them. Instead, then keep a blind eye. You know what I'm saying? Now, people, we have some good police officers in a Jamaica. But we also have some very dangerous police officers out there who are the enablers and facilitators of crime and violence in a Jamaica. So we will get into the report. The headline reads, Cop and co-accused slap with multiple charges in murder probe. So we will get into the report. A policeman was charged with the murder and several breaches of the Firearm Act in relation to two incidents in his community on December 27. He has been identified as 32-year-old constable Jim Oak Ingram of Petunia Crescent in Longville Park in Clarendon. A release from the Corporate Communication Unit, CCU, stated that in the first instance, the policeman and his co-accused 33-year-old Sheldon Harris, a car wash operator of Poinciana Way, also in Langville Park, were charged jointly with murder, possession of prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and use of a weapon to commit a felon. These charges stem from the shooting dropout of 59-year-old farmer Danek Law also of Langville Park address. Reports from the Clarendon police had that about 4.45 a.m., two men, one armed with a gun, visited Lo at his home and engaged him in a brief conversation. Shortly after, loud explosions were heard and the police were alerted. On their arrival, Lo was seen lying in a pool of red water with gunshot wounds to his upper body and area. He was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced dropped out. The swift action of lawmen led to the arrest of the duo. They were subsequently pointed out during an identification parade later the same day. Investigators in pursuit of evidence relative to the dropout of law led them to Constable Ingram home where an operation was conducted. A search of the premises was done in the presence of Ingram and a 32-year-old customer services representative, Shanika Simpson, who also resides at the address. Now, people, a long time I'm telling us that women play a vital role in the high crime and violence in Jamaica. The search resulted in the recovery of several rounds of assorted ammunition, among other things. In a barrel in their bedroom, the search yield one pistol, 216 5.56 rounds, one 20 gauge cartridge, 15 12 gauge cartridges, 47 9 millimeter rounds, 26 7.62 rounds, 68 
1.38 special rounds, 9 M16 magazine, 1 submachine gun magazine, 2 pistol magazine. Ingram and Simpson were then slapped with the following charges in relation to the seizure. Possession of prohibited weapon. Unauthorized possession of ammunition. Dealing in prohibited weapon. Stockpiling of prohibited weapon and unauthorized use of premises for storage of firearms. The policeman and his co-accused are scheduled to appear in the Maypen Parish Court on Monday, January 8th. So people, as we said before, these are the road cops that are the facilitators and enablers of the high crime and violence in a Jamaica. And them hide under the Jamaica Constabulary Force shadow. You know what I'm saying? And we not say three card man, the Minister of National Security and the Police Commissioner Anthony Anderson doing nothing about them. Now, people, these road cops in Jamaica, they are easily identified. You know what I'm saying? And as we said before, people, we have some good police officers in Jamaica. But we also have some dangerous police officers in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. You know what I'm saying? Just like how we can talk about the wanted man and the gangsters them, we have to talk about these rogue cops people because they support crime and violence in the Jamaica. Where one police officer I do it so much rounds of ammunition. Him have ammunition for every gun out there, people. So we all watch and look out what the court will do to these rogue cops, people. Trust me, we open with eyes. You know what I'm saying? Now, people, we'll move on to another rogue cop. The headline reads, policeman arrested after being held with ganja, cash, and station compound. You hear that? A 20-year-old police constable assigned to the guard room at the Montego Bay Police Station in St. James has been arrested on reasonable suspicion of possession and dealing in herbs. The constable was found with contraband and cash on the police station compound on Friday. He was reportedly seated in his car when a search was conducted by cops. Thousands of dollars and a host of contraband were reportedly uncovered during the search. The constable was then arrested. So they hear that people, the man had a business in the police station accordingly to the report. So we can't say allegedly because he was arrested, people. You know what I'm saying? On the compound of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. You know what I'm saying? With herbs. So, people, as we said before, we don't say Tree Card Man, the Minister of National Security, and the Police Commissioner, Anthony Anderson, doing nothing about these road cops. Instead, them close them eye people. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like how we can talk about the gangsters, you know what I'm saying, and the hit man them. We have to talk about these rogue cops because they are the ones that supporting crime and violence in a Jamaica. And we just read the evidence, people. You know what I'm saying? We just read the evidence. You see what I'm saying, people? Please leave in the comment section and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings.